When it comes to making selections, we could use the lasso based tools, but there is another tool that we have to make relatively quick selections. And those two tools are over here. When I click and hold on this icon right here, you'll see that we have one that's called Quick Selection, which is the default when you install Photoshop. And then the one underneath it is the Magic Wand tool. Now I'm going to start with the Magic Wand tool and work my way backwards. With the Magic Wand tool, it works like this. Simply click, and it makes a selection of colors based off of the range that you gave it up here in the Options bar under Tolerance. The Photoshop default value of 32, it's not bad, uh, but you can make it larger to grab more at once and smaller to grab less at once. But in either case, what you need to do is now add to this selection. And in order to add to selections in Photoshop, you hold down the shift key and notice that the magic wand now has a plus underneath it so that now we can click another area. And as I continue to hold down the shift key, I would click in a variety of areas and this continues to add to the selection up until it reaches a point that is a different color. So it will continue to go until it thinks there's a different color. Now, sometimes the default value of 32 is just fine. However, in this example, I'm clicking a lot and I'm kind of getting there very, very slowly. So an easier way to do that is going to be raising the tolerance. So I'm going to go select, deselect in order to remove this selection that I've done so far. And instead, I'll raise this up to 60. And with a value of 60 in this instance, I can click once, hold down the shift key to add to the selection, and then click a couple more times. And now you can see that it makes that bigger selection way quicker and way easier than it did with that lower value. So now at this point, if I want to change the color of these from blue to something else, I can grab one of our color tools, for example, the selective color, select the blues, and then simply alter the color. So it's fairly straightforward to make a general selection with the magic wand tool. However, there is another way to do it. I'm going to remove this selective color layer that we created, hide my palette by double clicking on the word properties. Now instead of using the magic wand tool, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. And in this case, the way that this tool works is it gives me a brush. And this brush, which is represented by the circle with a little plus inside of it, I can make it bigger and smaller by using the bracket keys, which are above the enter key, which will let me very easily make the brush bigger and smaller by simply clicking one of two keys. And if you forget, you simply come up under here and you can make your brush size bigger and smaller this way by adjusting this slider right here. Now, the way that this works is everywhere that we click and drag, it's once again going to pick up a range of colors and actually grab that general range. So I'm going to click and drag, and notice that it just grabbed his whole shoulder. I can click again. Now, I'm not touching anything. I don't have to add to the selection. It automatically adds. See how the tool is up here? It says plus. So it's automatically adding to the selection without me needing to do anything. I'm going to make it a little smaller to get in here, and I'm going to click a little smaller. Click, 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 click. And I'm clicking a couple times because it's a small area that I'm working in. And when I want to refine this, I can zoom in and then make my brush a little bit smaller and simply follow along the contour, making sure I stay on the inside. If it happens to run outside for whatever reason, I can click this one right here, which is the minus, and come in a little bit. Now, this tool isn't 100% accurate like most of these quick selective tools but it allows you to get started relatively easy without having to put much thought into it. So now we have the plus selected, so I want to change it to the minus and remove this green right here. And remove this area right here as well. Oh, it grabbed too much, I can go to the plus. And you kind of have to tinker with it a little bit. But now in the case of this tool, we don't have that tolerance. So we can't give it a value of more or less. It simply grabs what it wants to grab. And we also don't have the soft edge of feathering that we can apply to this either. We're fairly limited to what this tool can do. 
but this is one of the ways that you can make a fairly quick selection relatively quickly as long as you have the colors that it can grab onto. So for example, I can now come up over here and grab the blues as well. But now notice, unlike the first time that stayed within the blacks, this one without that tolerance adjustment simply goes outside of that area and helps itself to going as far as it wants to, which is why I personally don't like this tool. It's a little bit too out of my control, but it's often a lot easier to use for someone new to Photoshop. Now when it comes to actually making selections, rather than using any of these rudimentary selection tools like the lasso or color range or magic wand, I actually prefer teaching my students to use quick mask in a proper professional way. I figure if you're going to learn how to do something, the best way to do it is to learn with the best tools. However, it'll take me an hour to teach that to you, so we're not going to go into this today. This is the easiest way to do it for you right now. I do offer a Photoshop Basic 1 course that I offer on my website designed to help make you a better photo retoucher.